Welcome back to another episode of Talking Fun with Edo. And for this last Q&A special, we have Matt and Drew V. And thank you guys for your questions as well. So here is the interview for my last Q&A for my first year anniversary. Enjoy! Hello everyone! It's Podcast Edo back at it again with another video. And for this, for our last Q&A special for the first anniversary of Talking Fun with Edo, we got not only Matt Tech, but Drew B. Say hello, yo, 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 yo. Hello. What's up? What's hey, up? Thank you for having me back. Of course, guys. It's been I know it's been a while since I've had Matt here. Like we were just talking about um last time was the um not the berries, but like actually seeing each other was actually during the Korean report of the Flinko and the SES report. Mm. And for Drew, I even though I never really seen him in person, and I know it's been a year since we've done this last. Um, he definitely did make an appearance, which will be shown like right here somewhere. Is um did for the Barry's Pobo report. So he so you guys, <laughs> all y'all really did a good job on that. Even um everybody else that um didn't really have major roles or anything like that, you all did like a very good job of the clapping. Especially Matt, especially Matt for sure. Matt's wow, a good clapper. Just, like, He's always straight. been a good clapper. Just in I, case, I just in well. case, besides you guys, like just in case anyone hasn't seen it, I'll definitely share that link of that video of the Berries Workshop Kobo report down below. So now we're gonna officially start off with our questions. So our first question comes from the Aim Ping 18. And he was asking you guys, is there anything you guys are going to be doing for the New Year's Eve? For New Year's Eve? Yeah. Anything at all? Um, right now, I think I'm going to just hang out with some family, uh, just chill out, play some board games, and just wait till the New, Year, New Year's, eat some food. Um, nothing crazy planned yet, so that's about it. How about you, yeah. Matt? For New Year's, I think uh, I'll be in Florida. I'm coming back uh, to Florida like right after Christmas, and yeah, I'm just gonna too. go out with some friends and uh, you know have a good New Year's. All We're right. <laughs> so our Heck next yeah. question comes from Blue and Ghana mascot, and they've asked if you guys spoke any other language or play sports uh it's specifically like soccer or in their case football but just like even if not soccer have you guys spoken any other language or played like sports at all um i don't know if this counts i can speak in tongues um and i have swam i i was a swimmer hmm yeah. Like like an actual like this wasn't like an after school like this was actually no this is this is like part of my school like I was swimming for my school. Mm, yeah. I see. Yeah. Oh, you were in the swimming competitions. Okay. Yeah. Nice. How about you, Matt? Um, I don't speak any other languages. I only speak English. Um, I took, I think it was like six or seven years of Spanish in high school, and I didn't retain a single bit of that. All seven <laughs> of those years were just wasted. Oh, um, man. I mean, I can like, kind, I can pick up on like, you know, when someone is speaking Spanish, right? Yeah. I'd be like, oh, they're speaking Spanish. And I'll like pick up like, like a word or two. And I'll be like, oh, right, I know that right. word, but I don't know the rest of the context. So it doesn't really like me. Especially anything. like, you know, is it just like, like mainly just Spanish, right? Like not like the other part, like, cause there's a lot of like different dialects of like Spanish, just, that just mainly Spanish, right? I don't know what kind of dialect it was. Whatever the Spanish teacher taught me was the only thing I knew. At, the, at, at uh, Connecticut, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't I <laughs> the old like I think she's like seventy years old Spanish teacher in Connecticut. Wow. We had Hola, uh, me llamo Matt. I did say that. I did say that. Uh, <laughs> for sports, I didn't really do any. I didn't swim. I didn't play any sports. I definitely didn't play soccer. I have no idea how to play soccer. It's all good. I would have played right. soccer. <laughs> so our next question comes from Fritz the Frog, and he he has asked um, how you both came up with your channel names. Like, how did you guys come up with y'all channel names for YouTube or anything else? Here, Matt, you can you can take this one. I can take first. it first. Oh, you okay. can take it thank first you. this time. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um. So. 
I like Splatoon. It's a Nintendo game. Right. And Drew and I actually met through Splatoon. Yeah. But, mm. Oh. Um, I basically one of the songs in Splatoon, like the main theme of Splatoon, is called Splatack. So it's like splat attack, and they combine it. They say splat attack, splatack. And then I was like, wait a second, I could do that with my name and attack. Right. Splat attack, matack. So that's how I came up with it. However, like 95% of people, when they see my name, they just say Matt Attack. So. And the other five say Matt Ack. Matt Ack. I yeah. thought of saying that at first for a moment. But you got it. You got it, man. Uh, how about you, Drew? I know. I, 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 uh, did, is there any like significance or you just thought like, oh, this is just going to be like a cool username? Um, so throughout my childhood, people call me Drewby. Like Drooby yeah. Dooby Doo, they would be like Drooby Dooby Doo, Drooby, what's up, Drooby? Oh, like, like Scooby? That. Yeah, so yeah. it's kind of like Scooby, just Drooby, and it's like yeah. my last name starts with a B, so it's just like I just added the two E's, Drooby, and now it's like me and Matt's uh, usernames. We both have the same amount of characters. Mm. It's it's a four letter name, and then like a three letter like accompaniment. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, it's Matt Ack. I got Drew that's, E. That's interesting. And yeah. one thing that's cool is that now you add like another element to your story, Matt. Like, like I said from before, like the first interview that we did is on shown right here. Also link in it below. It's like here was your story of like how you guys made each other. And now there's another one where I didn't even know uh Splatoon had like speaker voice chat where you guys could like you know tune in and like play with each other. I didn't know that you can do that. It doesn't um that was like we played through discord so we, we discord already, like, there we go yeah, yeah we, we had already like had some contact but it was like the first time we actually like talked to each other and played was through Splatoon. right before yeah. you guys like officially like met each other and did like collab with each other. in a way this is like another collab in a way in a way yeah yeah that's we're collab. constantly collabing yeah, yeah we're, collabing. we're collaborators right now yeah, yeah. so our next question this is for drew but like matt you could enter in as well um splash down dolphin has asked um does drew ever does drew still live stream and if so how can we like find the link or anything to find your live stream okay so um my live streams they're very rare and i didn't know people really liked them so i kind of just like just do them when i feel like it right but um they're not going away. I mean, I'll still live stream and play video games when I want. Um, I just haven't really found a game that's really engaging for the viewer to watch and like for me to play. Like I want to find a game that like people enjoy to enjoy watching and I can like engage and like have a good stream. I definitely would say like a good like maybe like a stream thing that is like if you and like Matt do a stream together or something like speaking of, like Matt, have you ever um like, do you have, oh, yeah, speaking of which, like, Drew, it's like, are you streaming, like, is it, like, a YouTube stream, Twitch, it's just, like, which, oh, yeah. huh? Um, oh. YouTube. YouTube, okay. Yeah. Matt, are you, like, planning any type of, like, it's okay if you haven't, oh, like. Um, I was actually just thinking the other day, I was like, I haven't live streamed in a hot minute. Uh, You've live I've, streamed before? Yeah. I've live streamed at the, in, like, the beginning of 2021, like, February and March of 2021. He did the Pringles like, taste testing. Yeah, I was it. Uh, was it YouTube or uh, YouTube? Just... It was YouTube. It was YouTube. YouTube. Gotcha. Uh, and it was pretty good. I I got like a decent amount of like views on it and stuff. It's just it was hard to like continuously come up with ideas that were like right. engaging enough for a live stream. Because I feel like I think Drew can probably attest to this. Is like I don't want to just do what everybody else is doing and just right, like, play right. And commentate. I wanted to like if I'm gonna push live the boundaries, I'll push the make boundaries. it natural, yeah, yes. natural and pushing the boundaries. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, I yeah. see that. So, uh, next question is from Alan from Sesame Street. Uh, he has asked, uh, "Do you guys have any pets at all?" I have a cat, and I used to have a cat and a dog, but the that cat and dog ran away. They were Sugar and Lucy. Well, mm. the dog died, but the cat ran away. And then right. now I have a cat named Oliver, and he is a. Um, I forgot Mancoon. Yeah, that's the Mancoon cat. Okay, he's big. He's cute. 
It's funny because um uh for uh this uh so one of my last Q and A videos I did with Noel and uh first time International Channel for Life uh not only like uh Edward AKA International Channel for Life he has a cat but also like Noel was saying that when back in the day I want to say we probably didn't exist at that time but when he was like in high school and stuff probably didn't exist but um he said that he was like living with cats and like one was like completely like obese and Mo mocha was like legit like morbidly obese i mean it was like the bart simpson that washed himself with a rag on a stick oh but, yes it was a cat. she was adorable <laughs> i mean like she was really really fat like this is like uh, kind of like a bummer but like the neighbor died one time and i and the, the neighbor died when i was at class and i came back oh. to class and Jeez. um like uh, the the cop thought that my landlady domesticated a raccoon. Like he didn't think it was actually a cat. Oh. Had to explain, <laughs> had to explain this is actually yeah. a cat that just was very fat like, and uh, obese. Obese. It was like the oh, way obese. Described it was like uh, um, the episode from like The Simpsons where like Bart. It's funny because there's like two episodes, <laughs> if I remember correctly, where Bart was like fat. If I remember correctly. Mm. Of course, that's another one. Fat Bart. Can fat we get Bart a picture Simpson. on the screen of Fat of Bart? Of course, Simpson? yeah. I'll, um, I don't know if you guys would want the one from like the episode where like Homer got bigger, or the one where um he was eating from the vending machines. I'm not sure which one y'all want. Fat Bart. We could get Fat Homer and maybe even Fat Maggie. Oh, oh wow! Oh my God, is that an actual episode though? I don't know. Yeah, the Fat Man, Maggie. I have episode. to just dig Six around. All stuff. right. <laughs> <laughs> um matt do you have like any pets at all no um i've had pets in the past mm. not currently um what were they i've had a dog when i was like i had a dog when i was like in first or second grade okay he was a little, he was a little uh bulldog he was a little bulldog puppy but then i found out i was allergic to dogs so no more dog so uh, then I got a cat a couple years later, and I found out I was allergic to cats. So then no more cat. Um, I had a allergic. gerbil. I had a gerbil Were you named allergic Piggy. to animals, though? <laughs> Pretty much. Um, I had a gerbil named Piggy Piggy, and <laughs> my friend Dan killed him. <laughs> that's pretty much. You know, um, I've had some fish in the past, but luckily, uh, I think I'm not allergic to cats or dogs anymore. Oh, so. Okay. I Anymore, think, okay. like, if I were to get a cat or a dog, you would be okay. What are you gonna What are you gonna choose, a cat or dog? I think cats are cooler, but all right. You know, I'm a, I'm more of a cat guy than a dog guy, to be honest. I mean, it's all good. Uh, are you Ed, Are you more of a cat or a dog person? Yeah, Edo. What do you got pets? I um, I so that was actually funny because I was actually about to skip this by, but all right, so. I like dogs, but I do like, like, a lot of other animals, too. Like, I previously, like, had a dog about, I think, 12 years ago. And, like, from, I think, about four to five years later or even six, we just gave her back to uh, her family. And, like, mm. like I said in my last interview, we had a rabbit. And, like I said, we're just going to leave that there. We had a rabbit. <laughs> uh... So, that was – it's funny because, actually, technically, when I was actually, like, in uh, first grade and stuff, we had fish, but the thing is, they mm. did not last long. Like, one ate the other one. The other thing, we forgot to feed them and stuff. So, we had fish, but that did not last as long. <laughs> you know, like, it's funny. They wouldn't last long if they're kept with us. But if they're in, like, the sea, I could see them be completely, like, big as, like, a puffer fish, you know? Like, yeah. actually develop as a puffer fish. If they're literally in their own, like... Oh, yeah. stuff it's crazy i feel like that makes sense because it's like you know yeah it's a, it's a, it's like a new environment as i mean honestly anybody out there that's watching like if you guys had like a fish for like a good 10 or even 20 years or so and it looks like actual fish props you you did it like i don't know how y'all did it but you know yeah fish 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 are crazy it's hard it, to take when they're with us they don't live forever but if they're like like I said, if they're in the sea and stuff, they can literally spend their childhood yeah. over there, you know? Yeah. All right. I'm so um, this question is for Matt, but uh, Drew, you could join in if you like. Um, okay. 
This is from ADP, and they have asked how many times in years do Matt Ted does edits for not only just his videos, but just how many times do you or you, anything like that do you edit? You know, how many times? Uh, do you edit? How often do I edit? Yeah, yeah. I edit a lot. Um, I edit, especially nowadays. Um, I'm doing editing for other people. I'm doing some like commercials and some other YouTubers videos and stuff like that. Nice. I'm pretty much editing almost every day now. Oh my god! It's every so, day, bro. Oh. <laughs> so good. Oh man. Um, but yeah. Uh, um, but like for my own videos. Yeah. I'm trying to edit more trying to make some more videos i've got some in the pipeline that i just haven't gotten to right um, bigger videos but hopefully they'll come out next year and they'll be very funny and they'll be very good mm -hmm. you're gonna love it's them. funny because that was like one of our questions but like i guess we'll continue on that once we get actually never mind we actually answered that in a way um how about well, you Drew? like how many times do you often edit oh man i'd say i touch sony vegas like once a month like I ain't been... a, that was a question we were about to get into, but like I said, we're, we're getting to that. So, yeah. all right, let's just uh, go to the next question. So this one's actually like pretty easy. And um, so Kids to Productions has asked, what is Drew and Matt's favorite color? My favorite color is yellow. I love it. My favorite color is like turquoise, like a blue green. Oh, okay. So like, a is it like a light blue green or dark or any? Uh, any color of blue green is like my thing gotcha um, yeah all right so mike from jeopardy and lena chan has asked um when when you guys are not really editing anything what do you guys like to do for fun you got this one <laughs> me uh, both it's both of you guys but oh, you, know, man, you, know, man. Man. you got all right all right if you don't want to talk i'll do it i'll go first then um for fun I like hanging out with my friends. I like playing Smash Brothers. I like playing Fortnite with Matt. No, you don't. You don't like any of those things. <laughs> I know what you it like. Sounds it sounds believable, great. though. <laughs> what? I'm telling the truth. I like no, you're not. You don't like any of those things. Dude. He's lying. See, see how he just like manipulates people into thinking I'm oh, a bad person. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um. How about you, Matt? Like, um, I, I, I guess maybe we maybe touched on what Matt does. Like, not only like previous, previous videos, but like maybe the previous question. So, if you know, like I said, if you don't like want to answer this, you, you I like, uh, I like manipulating Drew. That's like my. Yeah. <laughs> there you yeah. go. He's not lying. <laughs> I mean, I just manipulated him yesterday. I just talked. <laughs> I guess that I gaslit him really hard yesterday. Dude, that was stupid. Yesterday, he told me that he texted his dad, but he texts Toribio, and then Toribio's texting me. I don't have his number saved, so it could be his dad for all I know. And he says, call me. He sends a video of his dad that Matt recorded. It was like some sort of like grand scheme, like prank. And I'm like, I call him and I hear Ribio's voice. I'm like, wait yeah. a second. This is the Matt's dad. I was just like, I'm guessing oh, this geez. is probably the collab. It's funny because we actually did talk about it from our first interview about collabs. And it's like, so like I said, we're going to get into that a little more later. Just I'm going to touch on it just a little bit of like the very first time I've interviewed Matt, not only because we were doing like a project for Rib, but it's funny because one of the questions we were talking about was collab. So it's ironic. So it's like, oh, Oh man, I wonder if that's a video. If it's not, then it's like, oh. Um. <laughs> you no, know, but see, that's what I'm saying. That's, it was just a collab, Drew. That's all it was. <laughs> You're just collab. Oh, speaking just collab. of um editing programs, like you could touch on this a little bit more, or like kind of, I guess, like however you guys feel is um, what is the editing program you guys use the most? Sony Vegas, Premiere Pro. Premiere, Premiere Pro, yep. I've and always tried to use Premiere Pro. I'm not sure if you guys liked this the last time I did this, but um, as the screen show here, as usual, since like the very first time I've done uh, YouTube for this, and like I said, over the years, it's been different. Um, I've have edited this stuff, including this video right here as we're zooming out, is uh, 
iMovie. So that's uh, that's the program I use. iMovie. iMovie has iMovie has the things you need to edit videos. Right. I mean, honestly, uh, it's it's crazy to me like how advanced it gotten, even the way I know how to do like 1080 and stuff like that. Like it's mm-hmm. it's insane. I think um, Triforce, Triforce Jackson used iMovie. Triforce Jackson. Okay, I'll definitely like put the link there is uh for anybody to find them. Um, okay, so our next question fr- comes from Ty Chugganier, and they asked if you guys ever went to any university, and if so, where did you guys go? Well, I did not go to college. I'm just chilling, doing my own thing. You went to Fortnite University. Yeah, that's that that could be a thing. Honestly, Ch- that Chungus University. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know um, Matt goes to the same, me and Matt, we go to the same university in Florida, which is, like I said, this is not sponsored, uh, Full Sail University. We both go there together. He just died. Um, For me, um, I guess like a little note is that on February, this is when I'll be like graduating. So, um, oh my gosh. So so after that, um, I'll just be doing my own thing afterwards, but I'll be in Florida for a bit. So, our next question. So now we're going to go into the winter questions now. And these are going to be like one of our last questions before we end this, but there's like one more other thing. So anyway, um, Slash right. the Frog has asked, and I'm not sure if both of you guys celebrate this, but uh, this person has asked us, do you guys celebrate Hanukkah? I would love to. I would also love to, but I don't. Yeah. Um, I mean, Hanukkah has like a lot of cool things about it i mean christmas you have like decorating and opening right, presents right. but hanukkah has dreidels and latkes yeah. and those dreidels are lit <laughs> yeah <Those dreidels laughs> are lit. it's funny because i remember this ed and netty game and i actually thought it's like there have i been introduced to a dreidel <laughs> yeah, it was called the spinning you, top game and i'm telling you like like the screen that shows it looks like a dreidel and i'm like does it have like shin and it has like uh no it just it, it was like a re- i don't know how to describe it especially because you know the game and like i said for my last interview if you guys weren't aware like cartoon network has now been like officially like closed down well not really closed down but they're like changing the names to warner brothers because like the two other stuff that's still Wait, really? be there is like adult swim and tsunami but they've changed their formatting to uh, Warner Brothers. So like all the stuff before, so it was like Boomerang's not really there. And like, mm. um, so like, I think, like I said previously, I think HBO Max, they don't have any of their stuff anymore, but like the other streaming services like Hulu and Netflix still have like their stuff a bit and probably other streaming sites or even, you know, websites, even YouTube, I can even imagine they have like their full episodes and stuff, but yeah. That's been going on, and it's kind of crazy because it's like it happened the 30 years when it first like started. Like this year, yeah. it's been 30 years. So honestly, it was um it was something when I heard it myself because I was like, dang, that's <laughs> it felt it felt the it felt disappointing for sure. Cause it's like, come on. I mean, I mean, I'm happy that adult swim and tsunami is still a thing, but it's yeah. the fact that it's like, yeah, we're gonna erase all this other stuff. It's almost like what happened earlier, like I've said previously with Russia, because it's like they took a lot of stuff back. Yeah. Even that, even that. They t- and it was like on Craig the Creek of all shows. And it's like Bruh, any person watching, it's like, yo, what just happened? And it's gone. Uh, what? It's gone. It's all gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's, it's like they don't even have Cartoon Network. It's they couldn't, everything. They couldn't Craig the Creek? Huh? Like the Craig the Creek just like ended halfway through the episode? Yeah, it's just like, uh, so there's this video from uh, Volcam94, and it shows like somebody recording it. I don't know if he like reversed, re- rewind or whatever. The person in Russia recorded happening, like the Craig the Creek thing mid-episode it just cuts off and says in russia it's like cartoon network is not available anymore Bruh. in russian and it's just Bruh. like that's crazy it, it oh my god it's like there's certain things that are still in russia but not everything like everything like like mcdonald's and adidas and stuff like this is like all the elements that made russia and it's like 
Yeah, we're <laughs> they took it. We no more Adidas. Exactly. That was their that was their thing. Like their track suits, to, right? Uh, this uh now um this uh Russian YouTuber called uh no freakers like props to him to yeah. like reporting this stuff you know he's a he's a really um interesting person like again another link i'll share not only of a video i did but also like his channel he's really like amazing like he went from like a memer person to like now like yeah. does he does like and stuff like he's really uh, um he's like like i'm not sure if you guys have watched him at all i've heard of no fuckers because of, um um Pyrocynical, I think. <laughs> yeah, and then they did collab. How about yeah. you, Matt? I don't know who you're talking about. I'm gonna be honest. It, his name is spelled N F K R Z. Yeah, it's like a um, hey, guy, no fuck us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Got it. He's def uh, it's definitely like different, like I said, then like I definitely do believe they're still talking and stuff, but it's his format has completely changed. Like it's he really evolved, which I'm not saying, like, if he was the way he was previously, I'm not saying that would have been a bad thing if he didn't change. But, like, you know, what he made, it's even, like, bigger. And, you know, of course, when the whole thing happened earlier this year, he got out of Dodge, especially because um, another thing I'm not sure if you guys know, especially, like, with BTS, is uh, when you guys reach, like, a certain age, like, when you're, like, 13 to, like, 28, you guys, like, got to join into the military. So right. BTS for their end, they actually got to go. And like, um, for, um, of course, uh, Roman, that's uh, no, uh, no freakers is uh, he, when he did it, they said like, yeah, you're good. So it was the moment where he was saying, and even comments were saying he touched a big bullet, you know, because if you have like anything or something, uh, you don't have to go to the military, but like, especially like in korea it's the same thing like if you reach a certain age like if you're like 15 or something like i said if you're That's before you're 28 young. you gotta like join in and list into the military unless uh you're you're mix of a foreign or you have a disability like that's the only thing that disqualify you or even like um i guess for like here is like your name don't get called that's similar for us mm, it's so, just like uh, dodging a bullet Dodging a right, like, yeah, like and for BTS though, like um, they said that they're gonna be okay, and it's you know it's interesting because speaking of which, it's been like thirty years since the genre of K-pop been made, and I know we did not exist at that time at all. Nah, like I'm, I definitely I'm would say like the moment I was born, I was like at the fourth. I wasn't in Korea, but like at that time, it was becoming i would definitely say like maybe by the early 2000s that's when it was really before gundam style i know believe it or not and more likely the cali and new york area but definitely as years progress it got bigger to where it is you know today where i get to see them on like talk shows and stuff like it's a regular program which is like yeah this has been something i wanted ever since 2009 I wanted even heck even earlier than that and I wasn't even there <laughs> but I'm yeah. happy to see it, it's going farther especially of all uh other types of pops of uh Asia too just all everything is yeah. going bigger and I'm happy for that so um all right <laughs> so our next question is from Daisy the dinosaur and she has asked what is your favorite thing that you both like to do for the holiday? Um, well, me, Drew B, personally, uh, I like to, um, I like to, dude, all right, so just this holiday or, like, any holiday, like? Any holiday. It doesn't have to even be this year. It could be, like, like stuff that you like to do in the past time and you could bring back or, you know, whatever. Uh, okay, I get you. Um. Excuse I me. like I like uh going over to my aunts on the uh, uh, Christmas Eve because mm. we do this like uh dirty Santa gift exchange thing where we just get like ten dollar gifts and like steal them. You know, I I think everybody needs dirty Santa. Man. Yeah. Um but I, oh, I think uh, that's like my favorite holiday thing, going to my grandma's on Christmas morning, eating breakfast, yeah. stuff like that. Just like nice family stuff just like how, chill how about you matt do you do anything like for the winter holiday 
Um, I love looking at lights, like all the pretty lights. Yeah. That stuff. That's so nice. It's yeah, amazing. It's funny because uh, my family and I, like recently we were, um, like what we used to do, we actually used to do that as well. Like we drive around the neighborhood. We wouldn't walk around. We drive around the neighborhood at night and just see like all the decorations that they got out there. So yeah, it, it was, fu it's fire. Even like recently once uh, I went to go get a new charger for my iPhone and it was like, Wow, this stuff looks nice. It so um, our good. second to last question we got is from uh, Robert Shane Burns. And he has asked us, what is your favorite winter movie? Like any uh, Christmas or winter movie. What's your favorite? Oh, shoot. I'm going to need some time to think about this one. All right. Take your uh, time. Mine, mine is uh, It's a Wonderful Life. Hmm. A very long time ago. It's in black and white. Yeah. It's long movie but in my opinion it's got a really nice message and right. it's got cool characters and uh it's very grounded in like realism yet it has like a very uh like for the for like the first half it's like very grounded in realism and then it right, kind of right. goes a little bit off the rails but it's still very much like i don't know it, it's all about like the choices that you have in your life and how yeah. your life affects other people and stuff and I, exactly I don't know. yeah how about you drew i think it's called shampoon's family vacation or christmas oh the yeah. national lampoon's family yeah yeah, christmas yeah, vacation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah that that movie is really freaking funny i would <laughs> say um my favorite it's really hard because I would say my favorite overall is definitely, and it's crazy because it's almost about to be 20 years since this movie's been made. Mm. Uh, Elf and ah. um, the Grinch that stole Christmas, the uh, early two. I do like, I, I like a little bit of the uh, the 2018. The only reason why is because, you know, Tyler, the creator. Yeah, that was, that's what I was going to say too. Um, I, 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 it's really hard to say like, but those are like my two other favorites. I think later in my life whether i make them or anything like that i'll figure out what's my other especially around the world too because those are those are like something else All is right. uh lastly from paula Kreger, and she has asked any new videos coming up after the holiday like do you guys have like ideas of what your next videos are going to be or i do have an idea of a video drew b flies <laughs> I mean, that can mean anything. <laughs> Ruby flies. Just like uh, that, your skull cap, it just flew. <laughs> yeah. How about you, Matt? Um, I have one edit like that I'm like trying to edit right now. It's been editing. Hmm. It will be finished like in the New Year's? Uh, hopefully sometime. I mean, maybe January, maybe February, maybe March. I still don't know. Gotcha. Um, it's equal to... Uh, my there's like one where i'd like interviewed like yeah. it's like that but it's oh like, the interview video right that, right. It, that it, is like, a classic. Oh, you're making a part two of that i made a part two i already filmed it it's just in the editing i right, think it's right really and that'll be like the new video that comes out in the new years of 2023 yeah sometime in there uh hopefully gotcha. drew, i can collab yeah just, stuff we oh wait drew's in the video or no 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 no, no. I'm we're saying, saying like, like just future collaboration in the future the right, right. More and... collab yeah yeah uh, if you haven't checked it out check out the go-karting video that's a great one yeah it's funny because speaking of which now that we've like reached to this part where we finished our q a now mm -hmm. um we're going to talk about like a bit of reflections where um can you guys like believe it's now been like a year since like not only like i've done this but also like this is like it's been a Q and A. Have you have? Do you guys believe it's been a year now? It, it hasn't felt like a year. Felt a little, <laughs> little way faster than a year. Yeah. Like, um, um, but I would ask uh, for that note is like, what was like your favorite part from like each of like your videos that I've uh, that I've like did for when it came to the? Do you guys have like a favorite part of your interview that I interviewed with you guys? You have an, any favorite parts at all? This right here. This is my favorite part. What um, I'm saying last year. Last year. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> um, I mean, I think it was out. my interview in general was cool because I got to meet you. Like that was my first time ever really like talking one on one with you. So I don't know. There's a whole lot of moments in the video. It's just like 
I'm going to say that's probably like the favorite part you liked about Matt's interview with AKA uh, special guest with uh, Rib. And funny enough, even earlier this year, we've uh, did a Rib interview. I'm not sure if you guys have seen that at all. Oh, I've seen it. Oh, I watched it. I'm a Rib fanatic. (laughs) I need to watch it. I need to watch it. I'll send you the link in like a lot of this stuff right here, like I'm talking about in the link of the uh, description. Um, uh, how sure. about you, Matt? What was like your favorite part from your interview? And of course, uh, Drew's interview. What was your favorite part from last year? I just liked uh, hanging out with you and Rib. I thought that was fun. Um, getting getting it started, getting just, you know, back in the groove of things was pretty fun to do. Um, right. That cool. was. A, and I definitely got to say, like, um, I know it's been like even a year since I've met you guys, too. And um from that time, I remember Rib was introducing me to you. And then if I remember at the same time, he introduced me to your friend, uh, Drew, as well. And it was funny, like, not only, like, the moment we did this, we were doing this for Rib's project, but this was also, like, my introduction to you. I believe yeah. you were, because I've had about, like, besides Rib, I believe you were my third, you were my second to last guest. And, of course, for Drew, for like we did last year is the winter holidays is uh this was um my uh my last thing i did okay everybody that wraps up for our um q a special so i'll see you guys all around goodbye goodbye i hope you all enjoy thanks for you all for your questions that you have sent and also just like i've done last year that i unfortunately got did not get to mention, but is I made a new version of my theme song again. So hope you guys also enjoyed that. And so what's coming up next is uh, for my main channel is my bloopers of from last year of 2021. And of course, a reflection. And, you know, for here is uh, my reflection. And that will be it. So I'm going to see you guys around and Goodbye!